Youth baseball is typically coming to an end this time of year, but with the pandemic, players got a late start to the season. Katie Easter reports from Karen Crow's Pelican Park on the measures to keep players and their families safe. Her story new tonight at 10. Precautionary measures actually take place at the front gate. Everybody entering the park must first have their temperature taken. Once inside, fans are encouraged to keep their distance. Um, mark the concrete here um, six feet apart if you want to put your chair. Um, and then they suggest that families sit together. They have social distancing signs and they do like a daily reminder every five minutes on the intercom to make sure that um, people are aware that they are uh, practicing social distancing here. Benches have also been added outside of the dugouts, encouraging space. We remind you, please social distance as much as possible. Baseball is typically a low contact sport, but coaches have made several changes for their teams. You know, when you go to shake hands, good game, we're just using our baseball caps. It's, that's the hardest thing, just keeping the contact minimal. Uh, just for the mere fact, we just got to make sure that the kids don't get huddled up on each other too much and not share the same equipment. Even with the late start to the season, these parents say they are happy to see their children out of the house. They're not in school now and they've been confined to their homes for such a long time now that it just gives them time to be outside and uh, play with other kids. In Karen Crow, Katie Easter, KTC, TV3.